you get the error message DHCP lookup fail. It means that your PC couldn't get an IP address from the DHCP server. Each device needs an IP address in order to talk to the router and the internet. The DHCP lookup fail error shows up when your device can't get an IP address from the DHCP server. In this guide, we'll show you how to quickly solve DHCP lookup fail error in Windows. Make sure that your PC software is running the most recent version before you do anything else. Go to settings, Windows update to do this. Since the problem has to do with the network, it's possible that one of your network devices is to blame. The DHCP lookup failed error shows up when your router can't talk to your ISP. To check your internet connection, you can unplug the power cable from your router and turn it back on. After that, wait 30 seconds before connecting the cable to your modem or router again. Now that your router is back on, try to connect to it to see if that solves the problem. If updating and restarting the devices didn't fix the problem, you should use the built-in network troubleshooter as the next step. Follow these steps in Windows to get to this useful tool. Open the settings app by pressing the Windows key plus I buttons. Select system. Click on troubleshoot. Select other troubleshooters. Click on the run button for internet connections. Follow the instructions from the troubleshooter. Wi-Fi extenders or repeaters are great for making the range of Wi-Fi connections bigger, but some problems, like DHCP lookup fail, have been said to be caused by using these devices. Make sure to connect to Wi-Fi directly from the router and see if that fixes the problem. If this fixes the problem, the extender is to blame. If you don't want this problem, you can improve Wi-Fi coverage by buying a high-range router or a Google Wi-Fi router. Windows 11's DNS servers to the Google Public DNS server to fix the DHCP lookup fail error. Change the DNS settings on Internet Protocol version 4 for the preferred DNS server and the alternate DNS server, and then test to see if the problem is fixed. This is how. Access the Windows Settings app by pressing the Windows key plus I on your keyboard. Click Network and Internet on the right panel. Click the circle with an I beside Properties. Click the Edit button for DNS Server Assignment. Under Edit DNS Settings, click on the drop-down arrow and select Manual. Then, turn on the IPv4 switch. Change the values for Preferred DNS and Alternative DNS. For your preferred DNS, enter 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 for alternative DNS. Click Save. connect your PC to a new Wi-Fi network and you get this error. It's possible that your computer doesn't support the Wi-Fi frequency that your network offers. If you have a dual band router, which means it can send signals in both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, try switching to one of these bands to see if that fixes the DHCP lookup fail error. Most likely, the router wasn't able to give all of the device's IP addresses, so some of them didn't work. In this case, you can try giving your PC a new IP address to see if that fixes the DHCP lookup fail error. This is how. Open the command prompt on Windows by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard and typing CMD. Open the command prompt app. Type the following in the command prompt. Some VPNs may cause problems with how some computers set up their networks. If you are using a VPN, try temporarily disconnecting it to see if the DHCP lookup failed problem goes away. If your PC's internet connection keeps dropping and you're getting this error, try moving closer to the router to see if that fixes the problem. Your router or modem's firmware could be to blame for the DHCP problem. In these kinds of situations, you can always reset the router by pressing the reset button on the router. This resets the router to the way it was when it was first made, which may fix the DHCP lookup fail problem.
That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.